Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you so much for joining me today for my little video tutorial showing you how to make this Mother's Day card. In the UK, we've had Mother's Day this year. Mother's Day was on something like March the 11th or the 13th, but I know in the US and Australia and some other places, um, Mother's Day is coming up in May. So oh, this is why I'm showing you this project now. Simple little Mother's Day card with mum, on the front here which I've used our foam sheets to give that some dimension so that's really nice and chunky and then just a happy Mother's Day message there which is from the itty bitty um itty bitty greetings is that called um something like that which is in the annual catalogue but which will be retiring on May the 3rd so if you wanted a stamp set they're a really nice stamp set actually with lots and lots of tiny little sentiments really like them anyway let's show you what I did to make this card it's 12 and a half square it's quite a different size so I'm going to take my trimmer and a sheet of A4 um, and I'm working with Rococo Rose today on my sample one that I just showed you I worked with Purple Posy which is one of the in colours that will be retiring Rococo Rose is also retiring this year so if you want either of those colours you need to get in quick because after the 3rd of May they will no longer be available so I'm just cutting this I cut it at 25 and now I'm cutting it at 12 and a half and then I'm going to score it along the long edge at 12 and a half, which should give me a nice square card blank. Where are we there? Oh, nearly did it with the cutting blade and not the scoring blade. Hey ho. Right, there we go. Before we get into gluing, I'm going to do the die cutting. So I'm going to do... Um, I'm just going to move my grid sheet out of the way and bring in my mini die cutter. It sits on my desk so it's nice and helpful. My plates sit on my shelf just in front of me here so I can reach those as well. So we're using the playful alphabet. I've taken out the two, we need U and M obviously, and two M's. I've taken them out of the pack. Really gorgeous set, this, um, this set of dies. Um, really useful for building up words and things for greetings. And what we're going to do, if I can find what I've done with it, which a minute I can't, I've cut, oh there we go, there it is. I have cut a little bit of our foam sheet. So our foam sheets come in packs of foam sheets this size and they're two or three centimetres, I think two centimetres thick. So they give your dies a really nice three-dimensional quality. And what I've done is I've cut a little bit off, which I think will be big enough for, to fit all three dies on, that I, for three letters on that I want. So I'm just going to remove the backing, place this on my Rococo Rose card stock, and then cut that out. like so and then I'm going to put this through so we're going to do the U and the M and then I need to come back and do another M so just put that up oh, that didn't want to stay let's put that there hopefully they will stay in place and not wiggle around put my other plate on top carefully and push that through my die cutter quite a little bit stiffer to do because it's got cut to cut through the width the depth of the foam as well so a bit trickier and that's fine they've they've punched I can see by the lines on the back that they've die cut really nicely so I can take that one out you can see that's now got a nice layer on it um, it's gonna be nice and chunky on my card really like using the foam sheets with these dies and I just need one more M to go through there we go put that one on there oh just make sure it doesn't move when you put your plate on so that it's not going to be half a letter or something like that there we go right so have you all had a good week I hope you have I've had a really fun week because all the restrictions are relaxing here in the UK. 
Um, it's actually beginning to be feeling really, really good. I've seen some friends for coffee. I went for coffee and cake in a cafe, sat outside. It was a beautiful sunny day yesterday. So that was fun. And I actually went to see my mum in her care home where we sat outside in a gazebo. And um, we weren't allowed to sit near each other and I wasn't allowed to touch her. But I could be actually in the same gazebo as her, which is a real, real step forward on what we've had before. Um, wasn't allowed to touch, had to keep her mask on, but I'm fine about that. I want to keep her safe. She survived so long. Both of us have had both our jabs now, so feeling it's much safer. But it's just been such a really nice week. I've had a lovely week this week. Socialising, seeing my mum, getting out and about a bit. Really beginning to feel more optimistic now. Right, there we go. Backing's coming off that one now, that's okay. Right, let's bring my grid sheet back and let's make the, the main part of the card. So we've got our card blank here. I'm still using um, Hydrangea Hill, but I'm gonna go with pinks today. So I've got this one that is basically Rococo Rose and this one, which is a tiny, I don't even know you can see that tiny, tiny little dot pattern. I'm not sure that you could see on here that this paper had a little pattern on it, the backing there. Right, so this strip is four and a half centimetres wide. So let's bring in my trimmer. So the, the, the back of the wider one is four and a half centimetres wide. And then I'm just going to cut it to, which pattern is it on the back? Oh, it's that nice pattern on the back. I'm going to cut it to 13, so it'll overhang the sides a little bit and then I can trim it off. So that's going to go on there. And then this one, this one is going to be two and a half centimetres wide. So we've got four and a half centimetres and two and a half centimetres. And that's going to sit on there. And you can see how beautifully these all coordinate so that you've got beautiful coordinating colours. Don't have to worry about coordinating things and stamping up because it does all the hard work for us. So... Let's bring in a little bit of Tombow. So we're going to glue this one down first. This has got one of my favourite patterns. I hadn't realised it's got my favourite pattern on the back, this one. I've nearly used all of my favourite papers from the Hydrangea Hill. It's unusual for me to use so much DSP, actually, but I have used. I've used all my Peony Garden up. Um, I've used most of my Well Suited. Um, or I can't remember. Is it called Well Suited? I think it's called Well Suited. The one with the... the suits and shirts and things and I've used quite a lot of this one I've used a lot of the black and white one the true love suite um, so I'm feeling quite pleased with myself that I've managed to, to use quite a lot up I can't resist I can never resist the papers when the catalogue comes out I tell myself I won't buy as many and then I give in and buy loads um, just going to trim a little bit off there because I don't need quite all of that to put glue on um, but I always, I always end up giving in, um, and I've, I've just come to terms with that now. And actually, what I tend to do is every so often I make up a bundle and I give, I'll send that as an additional gift to my customers when the papers retire. So if you're one of my customers, every so often you might receive a little extra gift of some um, DSP that's retired, and that's going in the centre of that one. Like I say, we don't need to worry about these colours coordinating because they're all, all the coordination is already done for us. So I'm just going to trim off the edges of those. Like that. And like that. There we go. And then you get perfectly neat um edges there without any overlapping and none um, and just no shortage no 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 panels that are too short right I'm just going to measure this and mark put a mark in the center because it's mum so it needs it's 12 and a half so it needs to be six and a quarter so I'm just going to put a little mark there because we're doing mum the you can go exactly in the middle which is why I'm doing a little mark there so that can go there and that's going to cover my mark. And then I know I've centred my image, my letters. So I'm just going to take my tweezers 
and put that one there. Like that. And then I'm going to take an M, put it one side. It doesn't show up particularly well. I don't think it matters though. I quite like this colour on colour. I hadn't thought about it before. On this one, of course, I did it in a much lighter purple. I did it in Purple Posy. This one I've not, I've done it differently, but I think it'll be okay. It'd be quite subtle, but I quite like that. And because it's so three-dimensional, it still stands out. Okay. And then we're going to take a little bit of this paper and we're going to do our die cutting of our small bloom punch. Again, that's retiring. So one, I need five of these. When I did this one, I needed, I had this patterned paper and I needed to make sure I cut it from a piece that was dark purple because some of the flower, you can see some of the flowers here, they were light purple bits. So I cut these ones out of the dark purple areas and these ones out of the light. But here, I don't think I need to worry because the, they're gonna show up here and they're gonna show up there. Now, the only other thing that I need to do is to cut out some leaves, punch out some leaves. I'm using my sprig punch here and I'm going to come in with a new colour. This is Soft Succulent, one of our new in colours coming in the new annual catalogue. Really lovely green, I really love it. Sort of a sagey green, I guess you'd call it. It's really nice. Um, is that enough bits? One, two, three, four, five... Maybe another one. There we go. And then I'm just going to get a bit of foam, just a little bit of um, craft foam, and I'm going to take my embossing tool to all of these. And I'm just going to work round and round in the middle and then the petals will come up. And I know when you press it through the post, these will get flattened, but just for the sakes of now, I thought that looks quite nice. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the back of each of these and layer them on there, overlapping slightly. And then I can tuck the leaves underneath. So that's one. And then one on the side of mum and one on the other side of mum. Like so. This would be great for any mums that like pink. Um, and then we're just going to come in with some little bits of leaves. So I'm just going to trim these down because you don't need the whole stem. So just going to tuck some leaves in behind these. So just tuck that in there. Another one going this way. So you might have a different foliage dye or something that you could use here. Maybe some other flower dyes that you could use. You don't have to use exactly the same product that I'm using, but it's just an idea of a layout to use. I think it's quite sweet, this little card. If it was Mother's Day in the UK, I'd quite happily give this card to my mum. I did make her one in May when it was our Mother's Day. Um, and I could keep this for next year, I guess. down at the bottom of the other end. Just trim that in there. And then I'm 
just going to decorate it with some pastel pearls as well. Which are also in the mini catalogue. So this hydrangea paper will be available for a little while longer. It's um just going to, have to trim that off a little bit more. Um, it's in the mini catalogue, which doesn't the the sales from the mini catalogue go on until um the end of June. Is that right? Yes, the end of June. So we've got another couple of months of the mini catalogue. Meanwhile, the the um annual catalogue is coming out next month in May, as I said. Right, let me find my pastel pearls. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pink ones here. Although I don't think they are actually um, Rococo Rose, but I think they will coordinate quite well. So, and then one in there. And then on the other card, I just added a little Happy Mother's Day message. Just there and actually I've stamped it on a piece of card and put it on there but I'm going to be brave today I'm going to try and stamp it straight onto my card I may live to regret this and if I do I will then stamp it on a card and stick it over it so it won't be the end of the world I'm going to stamp it although I stamped it here in lilac and kept it the same color scheme I'm actually going to stamp it in memento because I don't think it will show up if I do it in no I don't think it will show up in Rococo Rose so I'm going to use memento and hope for the best. Right, let's hope that this is straight. If not, I will have to do it on a piece of cardstock. Oh, not bad. There we go. Happy Mother's Day. There we are. Very different looking card, actually, from the one I made previously because I've used sort of dark cardstock rather than very light. But two very lovely mother's day cards oh i haven't done the middle i was going to show you what i did in the center so what i did was i cut a panel that was significantly smaller actually it was um just need to find my white card stock what have i done with it it's obviously not in there what have i done with my white card stock just talk amongst yourselves while i find it here it is it's on my desk buried under my work all my stuff so the, my um, there's 12 and a half by 12 and a half. I'm going to do this 10 and a half by 10 and a half. So it's going to be quite a small little uh, little um, square. It's going to be a big board around it, but I quite like that. So I'm just going to tombow that in. And you could do anything inside. You could you could stamp a different message. Could you could stamp one of our love you messages or something like that, sending your love to your mum, um, something like that. I'm leaving mine plain, blank, but I am just going to punch out one more little flower just to finish it off down here. So it's just an echo from the front of the card into the centre of the card. And then I really am finished. So thank you so much for watching today. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Would love it if you haven't already, if you could subscribe to my channel. Um, because this, the, doing these YouTube videos do, does raise me a little bit of income, which allows me to carry on doing what I'm doing and bringing you free tutorials. So if I couldn't raise a little bit of income, I'm not, not sure I'd still be able to do this. So anyway, hope you like my cards. Hope you might give them a go. If you like any of the products, don't forget they're all linked below. Um, but that's it from me today. Thank you so much for watching. I've enjoyed, enjoyed myself with you here today. And I hope you'll come back and see me again soon. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.